What's up guys, I'm Sean. So I have a big brake kit on my track car. I haven't cooked my brakes on track yet, it works great. But when I went to a race shop recently, the guy asked me, would I rather have my pads and rotors last five track events or 10 track events? So I decided to add brake ducting. So here's the custom made kit that I built cost me about a hundred bucks all in. I used some leftover parts I had from my S2000 build, hence the 2 inch ducting. If you're into fabbing, this is the way to go, otherwise you can spend about five to six hundred bucks for a complete kit with a 3 inch hose. So the benefits of brake ducting are, the cold air gets force fed through the tube into the inside of the rotors, keeping the rotors and pads cooler which makes them last longer and minimizes fade on track. So here are the 2 inch flanges I had laying around. You're going to need 4 aluminum flanges, 2 for the bumpers, 2 for the rotors, and about 10 feet of high temp silicone hose. You're going to need a hose saw bigger than 2 inches, drill bits, drill, and a jigsaw. So we're going to cut most of the heat shield off, except for a few spots, and then test fit the aluminum flange to the inside of the rotor. Once we have a game plan, we're going to remove the two 16mm bolts holding the caliper to the hub. And then we're going to pull off the calipers and use a bungee cord to prevent it from hanging from the brake line. Now use a 5mm Allen key and remove the rotor from the hub. So we're going to test fit the aluminum flange again and then we're going to start trimming. Use your goggles and start trimming with your tin snips. Cutting the heat shield is not necessary for this project. I'm just removing it to provide extra cooling to the rotors. Test fit the aluminum flange again. And then trim a little bit more. I also trimmed the bottom of the heat shield but I left a little bit of material as a heat barrier to the ball joints on the control arm and on the tie rod. I'm going to test fit the aluminum flange again and then trim the inside so nothing blocks the airflow. With the flange wedged in where I want it, I drilled a hole into the heat shield and into the flange and now I'm using some Loctite and a bolt and nut to hold the flange in place. So the flange is wedged in as well, that's why I'm only using one bolt. You can use two or more if you like. Now remove the fender liner which is either 8 or 10 millimeter screws, the stock brake ducting with some tabs, my fog light delete, and I'm gonna run the hose and position it to where I want it. I'm going to remove the under tray and use a hose saw and cut out the under tray. Oh yeah! Now we're going to make our bumper brake ducts, use cardboard trays from the inside and then cut it out. These brake ducts are usually a few hundred dollars but this is a cheap way to make it using some Lexan. Now we're going to put it onto the Lexan and we're going to cut it out using a jigsaw. So test fit it and do some more trimming as necessary. So once it's good, we're going to figure out where we're going to drill the hose to mount the zip ties and figure out where you want the flange and trace it out. Now use your hose saw and drill bits and cut it out. Just removing the Lexan cover. Screw on the flange with some self-tapping screws and then I'm going to spray paint it black. So here are the zip ties. Tighten it all down. On the inside, I use some Gorilla Tape to make it sturdier and airtight. And on the outside, you can use some vinyl or some more tape, or just leave it the way it is. Now snake the brake hose through the under tray to your bumper aluminum flange. I'm going to tie it down using a two-inch hose clamp. And once that's ready to go, 
we're going to install it into the flange on the heat shield. So now we're going to zip tie the hose to the sway bar and to an opening on the frame to make sure we have wheel clearance when turning. Reinstall the rotors and then torque the 16mm caliper bolts to 82 foot pounds. Spin the rotor around to make sure it clears the remaining heat shield. If not, you're going to have to bend the heat shield a little bit. So everything looks good. I put the fender liner back on the car. Put some extra tape where the hose meets the zip tie for some added protection. The car's still in the air with my 19 by 9.5 wheel and 255 tires. It clears the brake duct. I have a feeling my 275 track tires will also clear. I'll find out in about a week. If I had a 3 inch hose, I think it would be too tight. So there you have it. Brake ducting for under 100 bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.